Hi, I'm Dave Stewart, leader of the Isle of Wight Council, and through this brief video, I want to reassure you that we are doing all we can to protect you and the rest of the community on the island as we enter the storm of coronavirus in the coming days and weeks ahead. I'm going to read to you information that I feel was important for you to know. In the midst of this major international public health crisis, the Isle of Wight is stepping up to ensure that all our community have what they need to cope with the impact of coronavirus. We know it will be tough, but we are ready and we will respond as necessary. So what are we doing at the Council and are we ready? Well, the Isle of Wight Council is focused on maintaining essential services to all those that are vulnerable. Our staff have been redeployed and will be helping in our most essential areas such as call management and care management. Some less essential services such as sports centres will close for now, but other facilities such as our libraries will remain open to provide the community hub points we need. Due to a good decision some time ago, our staff are able to work away from County Hall in what we call Agile Working. They have the latest computer equipment and this is enabling us to get the best from digital communications. The council was also geared up to make regular calls to the vulnerable to check the support they need. Our Isle of Wight councillors will be working with their local community leaders and local volunteers to shore up support for the most vulnerable and generally help those who may need it. Details of a helpline will be published shortly. Our partner agencies are also ready with good plans to add further essential support to the community. Our voluntary sector colleagues, including Age UK and Citizen Vice, are working full steam to identify and address community needs. Use them when you need to do so, especially to ensure access to food and medical supplies. Southern Water have robust plans in place to ensure essential water services are maintained for everyone. Our supermarkets and shops will ensure we have enough food and other essential products that we will need during this time. Our ferry companies are ensuring goods and people can travel to and from the island through safe and regular service provision, which will include being able to stay in your vehicles on certain crossings. The NHS have extensive plans in place to manage the expected rise in demand on their services at this difficult time. Finally, the police and fire services are fully prepared to respond to any emergency that needs their support and assistance. So this collective community response is what will see us through and ensure we can do everything we can to overcome coronavirus and rebuild our community afterwards. There will be opportunities to help others and everyone can play their part. We are fortunate to live in a place where the community spirit is second to none and now is the time to harness that spirit. So what we need from our community, what we need from you, is to take the sensible precautions that are being asked for washing hands, keeping social space, self-isolating when required, and seeking medical advice through the 111 service when needed. Where well, you can offer your support in the community to do so through networks of groups and contacts that exist now, we would encourage that. But overall, what we need to do is to keep calm and carry on in the way that we are, and we'll get through this together and can look forward to better times ahead which will be there waiting for us. Thank you.